Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you an overview of viewing search results within Vertex. You do a search in Vertex first, obviously, and we have different types of searches, but they all are going to return a similar layout that you're going to see. I'm just going to do a basic geo search without any filters, parameters, and here you see the results being returned. The ability, you have the ability to raise this this bar and see more of the search results at any given time. And you see here that we are viewing 250 files of possible 19 million files. And those are comprised in 44 scenes. A scene is just a place on the earth, a particular spot on the earth for which we have collected data and have files associated with that particular place on the earth at a particular time. You can, as I say, raise this up and down. And if you were to zoom around on the map and get disoriented and like, where are my search results? You can click this button here and we're going to zoom you to the results. You see 44 scenes, 250 files of that 19 million. If you want to view more at any given time, you can come up here and change this parameter and you can then, it'll do a search and we're going to show you more files at a time in the search results here. Now, you have the ability at the top of this column here, which is the scene column, you see three columns, the scene, list of scenes, scene detail, and on the far right, the files associated with a selected scene. Now, you have the ability to, um, as I showed you, zoom to a particular uh, spot where we've got most of the results. It's going to try to center those search results for you or you have the ability to add them all to the download queue for further processing. And if we take a look at that, you're going to see it's going to add 164 files to the download queue. Well, why? If we have 250 files here, why are we only adding 164 files to the download queue? Well, it's because by default, we don't include the raw files in this function because most people aren't interested in them. If you are interested in the raw files, Click this icon here. We're going to let you see the raw files as well. And now if you add them to the download queue, you see 250 files to be added. Let's undo that. Let's go ahead and also look that you have the ability to take all of these scenes that are in this result right here and add them to the on-demand system. On-demand is a system powered by Hype where we process in the cloud the data that you tell us to process and we will provide certain processing options for it. To find out more details about this, I encourage you to watch our video on the on-demand system here, but that's for another video. Let's go ahead and more about the scenes. You can select different scenes and you have the ability to click on this little icon next to the scene name and we're going to copy that scene name to the clipboard for you and you have the ability to zoom to this particular scene. Just as you do here, we zoom to the center of all the search results. This is going to zoom us to a particular scene. You have the ability to add that scene to the download queue, and it just added four, and you see that there were four potential files and four are now in the download queue. I can click it and remove them. And this again is an indicator of how many files there are and you see the files on the right, four, and how many of them are in the download queue. Now in the center is more detail about this scene. We again show you the scene name, but a more fully formed name, not the truncated name you see here. And equally, you can copy that scene name to the clipboard. In both cases, you get the full scene name. You have the ability to find out more information about this data set. Sentinel-1 is the provider of this data set, and we will give you information about it here. If you click it, we'll open another tab and give you more details. You have the ability then to come down here, and we have different parameters about this scene, the start time, stop time, beam mode, etc. And you have the ability, you see these little cog wheels to the right of all of these attributes. You have the ability to click on them and add that as a filter to the search. So here we have a path of 133. You remember we have 19 million files being returned, possibly. So you can click here on the 133 
and say set that as the start path, as the path end, or both. I'm going to select both. And you see the 19 million just went down to 92,000 files potential. You do click the search again, and we're going to show you just those files. Now, <clears throat> pardon me. Now, you also have the ability to hover here and click on this, and we're going to tell you how to cite this data in your work if you use it. You have the ability here as well to see a thumbnail, and it's just thumbnail size. It's not the full resolution, but you have the ability to see a thumbnail associated with this scene, and you have the ability to open it in an image viewer or to download it. And if you click, you see the magnifying glass. It's going to, again, open it in the image viewer. Let's go ahead and do that. But before I do, let me also highlight that it's showing one of one. If we have different thumbnails for this particular scene, you'll be able to browse through them here. But let's go ahead and open this up in an image viewer. And here you see that thumbnail more fully visible on your screen. You have the ability to zoom in on that thumbnail and move around on it if you'd like. You also have the ability to see that full scene name again. You have, you see the scene here and you can look at it and say, mm, that's not the one I wanted. So this is showing you only the scenes with a browse image in that search results. So we can go ahead and click on a different one and you say, oh, that's the one that I'm interested in. Again, on the right here, you have the, some of that scene detail and you can set those same search parameters again using the attributes. You have the files listed that are in the right-hand column of the files that are in this scene. And you have the ability to click on one of these and say that you wish to download it immediately or add it to your download queue. And in this way, you can browse through and say, get you know the scene that you want based upon a visual indication and see if that's really what you were looking for. Let's go ahead and close this. Also in the center column at the bottom, is a search, another search that you can perform. These buttons here will search the baseline, SBAS, or more like this. If you click the more like this button, another search will be performed using the same path and frame as this scene. This particular scene isn't um, uh, available for baseline and SBAS, oh, excuse me, baseline or SBAS searches. So those buttons are grayed out right now and you cannot click on them. But others will. For example, this one, baseline, SBAS. You can click on those, and we're going to do a search, an SBAS search, based upon this particular scene. On the far right, you see that list of files that we've been talking about. Again, you have the ability to copy that file to the clipboard, the file ID. You have the ability to send that particular file onto the on-demand system for processing in the cloud. You have the ability to download that file immediately or add that file to the download queue. And if it's the cart's um, filled in, you have the ability to remove it from the download queue. And that's an overview of search results within Vertex. Again, other search results will have a slightly different layout, but all the functionality will be similar. Thank you for watching. <laughs>